Are you tired of feeling stressed? Are you tired of being overwhelmed by the amount of inputs at work, in life, of people consistently making demands of you and never having sufficient time? Or are you worried about life's finances? Are you worried about the economic impacts in your world today? Maybe those come from current or pending political decisions that may be made within your country. Are you living in a state of stress? And when we consider the ecological damage in our country and in the nations around us, does this add stress to your life? Are you consistently worried about the state of our climate? Do you exist in a world where we have continually repeated effects of the intervention of emergency services on a daily basis. It is a constant flow and plethora of events that continue to feed that stress and discomfort in your lives. And most recently, we've seen the increase in wildfires and their effects around the world. We have seen many wonderful cities and towns being burnt as well as incredible flooding in some of our most pristine and important areas of agricultural land in any country and in all continents around the world. It seems as though we are under this unending pressure of events and exogenous things that are beyond our control, but continue to impact our quality of life and increase our personal stress levels. The question that we face at this time is, do we wish to have a methodology or a roadmap, a pathway to adopting a more calm life, to understand that all of these exogenous shocks happen beyond our control? We have no control over them and we don't influence how they happen. But what we can do is impose a standard of calm into it, place order into chaos, we do that through adopting a prepared life. It is an ideology and a framework that does not require financial intervention. There are no economic barriers to adopting preparedness. There is simply an ideological barrier that is overcome by you looking that incredible person in the mirror and asking who is responsible for your outcomes. You do not control the exogenous world, but what you do control is the set of choices you have. You can assume responsibility for your outcomes. You can begin the process of designing a preparedness plan for you and your family to deal with those shocks that are beyond your control, to be able to navigate disruption, and to move from simply a survival mode to being able to thrive in chaos. This is a function of you determining the roadmap at which you want to follow, how your family is going to go forward, and the steps that you are going to take. This is not a question of investing money. Preparedness is a lifestyle, not a stockpile. It is assuming responsibility for your outcomes and leading you and those for whom you're responsible to greatness. Begin your journey to preparedness with our podcast. Inside My Canoe Head is Canada's number two preparedness podcast containing all of the information that you and your family will need to adopt a prepared life. Over at our parent company, Preparedness Labs Incorporated, we have a number of free downloads to help you begin your preparedness journey and a number of other resources that you might find quite helpful. This all begins with you looking that person in the mirror, making a decision to adopt a prepared life, and beginning your journey to resiliency. It starts with you. We're here to help you along the way.